hey what's up guys and welcome back to anime king and today i'm going to be giving you part 28 of what if Tsunade was naruto's mother and on my second channel i posted uchi and naruto the sage and i also posted a brand new what if what if naruto got a new bloodline so switch across and enjoy all those lovely what ifs and after this i'm going to be posting what if kurama gave naruto a new dojutsu and also what if naruto was trained to be a mercenary after this so stay in tune and enjoy all of the love the what ifs coming your way and also guys if you're new and this is the first time you hear my voice like what are you waiting for go ahead and click that red subscribe button and join the anime making family and be a part of the channel and also go over to anime king 2 and enjoy all the lovely what ifs over there i'll be leaving a link down in the description and comment down below and tell me if you're new i'll be replying back to all of you and yeah without further ado let's get straight into this last time we left off we start with the preliminary so now they also came back to the village after hearing everything that happened to her son she went to saratobi and the both of them had a long talk about Naruto and his curse mark but Naruto still wanted to participate in the tuning exams and Snavi and Saratobi and Naruto came up with a compromise if Naruto show any signs of the curse mark or if he get out of control they will stop the match immediately and they will put the seal on the curse mark so they went down the preliminaries and Naruto was the first one he was facing off against Mai she was a ninja from the hidden rain family to hanzo so yeah that was basically last where we left off so let's get straight back into this episode so if you guys haven't yet switch across the playlist and check it out for yourself so let's get straight into this we start by the episode as mai channel her chakra into her two strong fans as she cried out wing style double strong win naruto saw the attack coming as he jumped straight up into the air as he then looked as the wing attack slam into the wall creating slashes and debris blown apart as naruto sweat just dropped whoa that attack was strong he thought naruto then took out a set of kunai from his pouch as shizune refilled it for him as he asked her for hit naruto threw them at mai as she dodged all of them as she then used another win attack given that naruto was in mid-air he couldn't avoid the technique as he was sent flying into the stone hands that was doing a ram seal and they were to his right but he recovered quickly as he flipped himself over allowing his feet to hit the wall and then propelled him forward as he then pulled out saint bonds and threw them at mai acting quickly she avoided all of them as they were coming at high speeds and was very accurate but she managed to get out of the way after blocking most of them and avoiding most of them the last one got stuck in her fan as she smelled it poison she thought i must be careful around him as he was trained by the world top medic nin sunave who knows how many more of his weapons are covered in poison my thought suddenly naruto then appear right beside her she then realized that he used a needle attack to distract her so that he could get close enough and she couldn't use her win attacks acting quickly she raised her right hand up with the fan as she flipped a switch allowing spikes to come from it as she then used to block naruto's katana which he has swung at her naruto was surprised at this but he then enhanced his strength as he slashed right through the fan making it unable to use any more win techniques mai saw this as she quickly jumped back to gain some distance between the two of them as she then started to do some hand signs with her one free hand after seeing this naruto curse as he couldn't use his chakra the curse seal was messing with it and he can't allow to go out of control or his mom and sartobe will stop this fight so he was at a great disadvantage so he was forced to use one of his backup plans naruto then beat his thumb as he put his blood on a small seal that was on the hilt of the katana this seal wasn't an ordinary seal it was a chakra stored seal that kushina teach him before the tuning exams 
as Naruto had stored a large amount of chakra into the seal so he would be prepared and ready for everything Kushina had told him to do. As Naruto was ready but before he could use a chakra from the stored seal, Mai then swing her other fan as she cried out wind style, whirlwind as she unleashed a powerful wind from the fan as this lifted Naruto off his feet and bring him to the ear into a large tornado. As Naruto was being spinned around in the tornado, small wind blades started cutting from all over making him unable to defend himself. To the spectators, impossible said Temari, how can she create something that powerful with that small folding fan of hers, Temari asked out loud in disbelief as she herself couldn't do that with the small folding fan that Mai was using. She had to use that big one to channel enough chakra to use when attacks. She is gifted, that is for certain, said Baki with some surprise. But then again, she is the granddaughter of Hanzo, Naruto. Shizune cried out in concern as she was watching her surrogate brother being spinned and caught up in that win attack. Tsunade herself wasn't doing good as she grabbed the railing as she held it tightly causing it to slowly break. Damn it, thought Jaya as he started to worry when he saw the curse mark spreading all around Naruto's body. Hokage said Anko as she started to see the curse mark as well. Naruto thought Saratobi as he was worried while Orochimaru was disguised as a Jonin as he was chuckling in his mind. Back with Naruto and Mai as he was being spinned and cut up, he started to cry out in pain but as he did he can feel the curse mark being spread all over his body. It was like it was subconsciously reacting to him crying out for more power. For just one moment he pondered at the idea in using his power to defeat Mai but that will only allow the seal to spread all over his body. And he also remember what he did to Haku and her team and how he almost killed them. As he started to force the seal back, no I won't lose control again, I won't lose control again, he screamed in his mind. Naruto then grabbed onto the hilt of his katana as he started to channel the chakra into the storage seal. He channeled it into the blade as he cried out, great wind slash. As soon as he did this, a massive amount of wind cut right through the tornado and caused it to dissipate. Although the wind attack kept on flying as it went to the side where Kilby and his team was as they barely jumped out of the way in time. What the hell? Is Senju trying to kill us? Thought Karu. While Anko was looking at Naruto, I don't believe it. At the level he's at now and he can't use his own chakra. I thought the curse mark would overrun him but he managed to push it back. Well, he's impressive indeed, she said to herself. Mai then looked at Naruto, impossible. What the hell was that technique he just used? I have never seen anything like it before, she thought in her mind. And she was only awakened when she heard Naruto cried out, wind slash. Mai quickly jumped out of the way. Although the attack wasn't powerful as the first one, it was able to complete dig into the earth wall. What kind of technique is he using? Grandfather was clearly right about him. If he's able to use a technique at his age, a A rank technique of course, my thought as she looked at Naruto, as she then picked up herself. But as soon as she did, she was forced on the defensive by Naruto who slashed at her with his katana. For the next few minutes they fought each other in a fierce battle where Mai activated the spikes on her fans to defend herself from Naruto attacks. Eventually though Mai was able to get a distance between the two of them as she took out some shurikens and threw them. As she then channeled her wind chakra into her fans and add the wind chakra to the shurikens enhancing their power and their speed. Seeing this, Naruto quickly pulled out Kuna with explosive tags as he threw them forward as they explode, destroying the shurikens that Mai threw at him. Unfortunately, what Naruto didn't think of was that the attack Mai just used was just a distraction to allow Mai to 
to use her real attack. As soon as the smoke died down, he saw Mai, her fan in her mouth, as she was using both hands, running through hand signs. At the same time, Naruto also noticed that she was now surrounded by a large body of water, which he guessed that she summoned from the scroll that was in front of her. As Naruto prepared himself, as she then stopped, as she cried out, water style, water bullet dragons, as she created a large amount of water dragons coming at Naruto in a high speed like a bullet. Naruto then moved out of the way as the water dragons were still coming after him as they were turning and going around as he realized that Mai was controlling them they were coming after him. Naruto quickly draw out some more chakra out of the store on the katana as he cried a wind slash as he slashed all of them as they all fell to the ground in puddles. Damn it I almost have him thought Mai as she began to pant heavily as using that technique took a lot of chakra out of her. At the same time Naruto stared down at his katana as he knew that his chakra storage scroll was almost empty. Naruto then rushed towards her intending on ending this quickly as as soon as she saw him she took her fan out of her mouth and run through hand signs with her one hand as she then cried out fire style dragon roar as she brought her free hand to her mouth and let out a large fire that flew at Naruto with great speed. With the spectators, what? Not only can she use water and wind, but fire as well? Thought Sasuke in surprise as he looked at the powerful fire technique. This girl is like Naruto, she is able to use multiple element ninjutsus, thought Asuma in surprise. As to what he's seen, she's already strong as a high level chunin, maybe even a jonin, as her grandfather must have taught her well. Back with Naruto and Mai, seeing the stream of fire coming towards him, Naruto quickly with an incredible speed dodged to the left, as he then moved to the right to attack Mai's unguarded side. Mai quickly brought her fan to protect herself as she saw that Naruto was about to swing his katana as she then saw Naruto's empty hand. As Naruto had switched his sword, Naruto used his other hand with the sword as he came up with a slash as he slashed her upwards. As Naruto had a smile on his face but that smile quickly faded when he saw her turn into a puddle of water. Mai had replaced herself with a water clone. Seeing this, Naruto spin around as there were seven kunais and several shurikens coming at him with high speed. He used his katana as he deflect all of them. As Naruto then saw Mai as she was standing directly at a large stone hands. After doing several one hand sign jutsus, Mai then inhale, fire style, fireball jutsu she said as she let out a massive fireball coming towards Naruto. She then followed up the attack as she channeled chakra into her fan and combined it with the wind as she sent her wind attack right into the fire as the fire engulfed it and the fire became much larger and fierce as it was flying towards Naruto at a high speed. Seeing the attack coming, Naruto knew that he couldn't avoid it. It was coming in too fast and it was too big as he only knew one way how to get out of this. As he started summoning the chakra from the storage seal of his katana and hope he had enough to do his technique. As he then hold up his katana and started to spin it as the water that were around them that Mai created for her dragon water technique started to spin around his katana as he then create a water spear as he shot it forward towards Mai fireball. The two techniques then collided as there was a massive smoke as the water extinguished the fire and the fire evaporated the water. As a cloud of steam rose, everyone struggled to see what was happening as it covered almost everywhere. Look over there, cried Hinata who had her Byakugan activated as she was seen right through the smoke. When everyone saw, they saw Naruto emerge from the steam with his katana thrust forward and water covering it. 
Seeing this, Mai didn't have enough time as she was waiting for the last second to Naruto to come at her so she could avoid it and allow him to crash in the wall. As Naruto was sidestepped by Mai, he brought up his feet as he kicked on the wall and spin around and then push off at her at greater speed. As Naruto quickly switched his katana to his other hand to try and slash her down, but Mai was prepared for this as she used her fan with the blades on it as she then stopped Naruto katana. I am not going to fall for the same trick twice, stated Mai as she blocked Naruto's slash. Well, how about this then, said Naruto as he tossed his katana behind him and grabbed it with his other hand. As Mai was so focused, he brought it around with his other hand and hit her in the side with the hilt. Mai then stumbled over sideways as she was caught at a complete surprise at Naruto's attack. Not wanting to lose his advantage, Naruto quickly moved forward with his katana as he channeled the last amount of chakra from the storage seal, after which he then used his flying swallow technique. As he then sliced right through his my fan when she rose it. As he then followed up with a roundhouse kick that sent my flying back as she slammed into the wall several meters behind her. Give it up my, you can't win, said Naruto as he watched a girl slowly pick herself up. Like hell I will, you haven't won this fight yet Senju. As the both of them charge at each other. As the two got near to each other, Naruto swiped at her, but she got closer as she stopped him from using his katana as she kneed him in the stomach. As Naruto then leaned over, she kicked away his leg and grabbed his hand and flipped him over, allowing Naruto to drop his katana. After being flipped over by Mai, Naruto quickly flipped in mid-air as he dropped on his feet and went into a fighting stance. As Mai then spin around to face Naruto, as you can see Senju, I am not like the pitiful excuse of Konoichis that you have in your village, said Mai, causing Tenten, Sakura and Ino to scowl. As I have been training in some of the most gruesome ways ever, as I have been trained in ninjutsu and weapons and mostly I am skilled in taijutsu. Upon hearing this, Naruto's eyes narrowed as he had to admit he underestimated Mai. I have to admit Mai, I underestimated you and around my age you're one of the strongest people I ever fought. As the both of them then started to exchange blows, as Naruto came up with a punch to her face but she dodged as she came with an uppercut, Naruto flipped back as he then jumped forward again as the both of them went into a fearsome taijutsu battle. Mai grabbed Naruto's hand as she delivered a punch to his stomach that sent him flying back as she appeared underneath him and uppercut him in the air as she then appeared above him and kneed him down to the ground as Naruto back slammed into the ground hard. Naruto slowly got up to his feet as he spit out some blood. Damn it, I can't use any more ninjutsu, I can't even use my own chakra but now I'll end this he said. As Naruto then went through one hand sign, as his whole body started to glow. Four limbs, weight ceiling, release, said Naruto, as his entire body felt like a hundred pound, like he just got a hundred pound lighter. As Jiraiya Tsunade in the audience noticed that Naruto released the weights. At the same time, Mai, who landed back on the ground, started to frown as she wondered. What was Naruto doing? What trick was he up to now? But before she could say anything else or think, Naruto blinked out of existence. As he appeared in front of her, he slammed his fist into her stomach, making her cough up blood. As she leaned over, he then jumped a bit and kicked her to the side. As Naruto appeared in front of her, due to all of the strong trainings, her body just react on its own and moved out of the way of a massive punch as she tried to punch Naruto but Naruto simply slapped away her punch with ease as he then punched her right in the chest right between her breasts knocking the wind out of her as she took a few steps back as 
Her entire body, her head was so dizzy. As he rushed at her again, and she put off her arms to block, as Naruto made contact with her arms, she was sent flying back as her arms went numb, as her arms dropped to her side, as she wondered where did this speed, this strength, where did this new power came from? Naruto then rushed towards her again as she came up with a fist, but Naruto grabbed her arm as he hit several pressure points, making her arm go numb as she swung her nether arm as Naruto did the same, making both of her arms drop to her side. Mai then tried to kick after Naruto as he ducked, as he grabbed her leg and spin her, he then threw her straight up into the air, as he then appeared beneath her, as he kicked her straight up again, he then vanished, blurred out of sight, as he then appeared above her. Hammer kick, he cried out, as he came down with his heel and slammed it into her stomach, as she dropped down to the ground with an impressive BAM. As there was a huge smoke gust everything, the earth was blown. The amount of force that she came down with as Naruto landed a distance away. Seeing this, the proctor for the exam quickly jumped down to check on Mai. When he went to check on her, Mai was still conscious but she could not fight as she was just groaning in pain. As then he saw Naruto walking towards him as his clothes was cut up and he had a few bruises all over his body. As the proctor looked at Naruto, seeing how powerful he is, as he then stood up as he announced that Mai is unable to continue the match and Senju Naruto won. In the spectators, Ino cried out, yeah Naruto won. I knew he could do it, as Tsunade just sighed with relief, as a smirk came on her face, but she already knew that her son would win, as she knew that he had this ace in his sleeve. He could release his seals at any moment and beat in her, but he was holding back to test her, and also if he had the ability to use his chakra under his control and use his natures, she wouldn't stand a chance against him. She was just lucky that Naruto was under the effects of the curse mark and he couldn't use his power. Naruto fought well, commented Haku as she turned to Zabuza. The kid did good, Zabuza said with a nod. Naruto, I know you could win, Hinata said as she blushed. Nice going Naruto, thought Amoy with a smile. As I expected, thought Yujito with a smile as well. As B shout out we, he pulled it off like a wisdom tooth, he said with a smile. I couldn't believe it, my loss, thought Kendashi as he was on the three person team with Mai as he was joined with his teammate as she was the strongest person on their team. I had to admit he's pretty good said Tamari as she looked at Naruto. Once the proctor announced that he won, Naruto let out a sigh of relief as he was still sore from the fight. Not to mention really tired as he didn't have enough time to rest after the forest of death as naruto was about to walk up to the catwalk with his friends and his family he then heard my cough as he turned as he saw her spitting out a lot of blood as she was struggling to breathe seeing this he walked over to her as he started to take out some things from his pouch when the proctor saw this he asked naruto what he was doing as naruto told him that he was treating her wounds the proctor told Naruto that they had shinobis here and they could handle it, but Naruto said it was alright that he could do it, as the proctor just nodded and stepped away, letting Naruto examine Mai. When Mai turned and saw Naruto sitting next beside her, she turned and glared at him. Did you come to gloat Senju? As she coughed, hardly, Naruto replied. As he then went to touch her sides, what the hell do you think you're doing? She cried out in outrage with a little blush which Naruto thought was funny. Given the outfit she was wearing, he didn't thought that she would be so embarrassed of a boy touching her. I am treating you, Naruto explained. Where before she could respond, she hissed in pain as Naruto touched her tender sides. As I expected, you have a few crack ribs, probably caused by my last attack. As he then took out a small bottle and poured some pills in his hand, as he put it towards my mouth. What are those? She asked. 
they are painkillers so it can take off all the pain on your side but as soon as he said this Mai turned her head as she refused I refuse she said but why he asked I am a shinobi of the Hattori clan where to accept help from the enemy is a sign of weakness and I will not insult my pride by letting you help me Mai said as she was so stubborn to Naruto thought. As he then commented, well, that is probably the stupidest thing I've ever heard. What? said Mai. You heard me. Why let yourself go through all this pain over a silly thing like that? You won't understand, Mai replied angrily. Maybe not, but whether you like it or not, I am going to treat you. So now you have two choices. You can make things easier for yourself, where I help you and everything is good, or I will force you to take these pills. You wouldn't, said Mai as she glared at Naruto. Naruto then touched one of her cracked ribs as it caused her to cry out in pain as he then poured the pills in her mouth, as he then hold her mouth forcing her to swallow them. Well, that wasn't bad now was it, Naruto asked with a sweet smile. Damn you! Mai growled angrily. If I could move, I would have just... As she was then interrupted by Naruto before she could finish her threat. Well, you can't, so deal with it. And if you behave, I will free you from the effect of the pressure points. At this, Mai just grunted and allowed Naruto to finish treating her. Back with the spectators. Looks like the boy also got your bedside manner said Jirai in a joke as he glanced at Tsunade. Ha ha ha, laugh it up pervert, next time you come to me to treat your injuries after one of your research mission, I won't help you, said Tsunade. Why is Naruto even helping that chick? She tried to kill him, stated Kiba. The brat is weird that way, he did the same kind of thing for me and Haku, commented Zabuza. So for the next few minutes, Naruto treat Mai's injuries as he then took out a small cream then told her that it was healing cream and it would reduce the swelling that is coming later. When Naruto added the cream she hissed as it was very cold and her side were tender but the pain slowly started to go away as Naruto kept on rubbing the cream. As he continued to do this she couldn't help but notice that he had very gentle hands. The thought of course made her blush slightly but Naruto didn't notice. She then asked Naruto a question, why are you even helping me? I was your enemy. The match is over so we aren't enemies anymore, Naruto stated. But I tried to kill you, she said. Well that was then and this is now and you're not the first one to try and kill me and you won't be the last. Also what happened then, it is in the past. And it doesn't mean that we cannot become friends now. Friends? Mai repeated as she looked at Naruto like if he was insane. Yeah, I have two other friends now who I met back on a mission and back then they were my enemies. But once the battle was over, we became friends. At hearing this, Mai just shook her head in disbelief. You're a weird guy, Senju Naruto. Naruto just smirked at this and said, so I've been told. After a few more minutes, Naruto finished spreading the cream as he wrapped her waist tight with the bandages as he then took out another pill bottle and pulled out a pill that was the size of a gumdrop. What is this? Mai asked. A medical pill my mom developed. It temporarily floods your body with chakra and increase your natural healing ability. Although it doesn't heal you completely, it should heal you just enough so you can move around. And if I was refused to take it, my axe. Well, you know what happened last time, Naruto said that smirk, as Mai just frowned, but she opened her mouth and took the pill. After a minute, Mai then felt the chakra surged around her body, as she was getting better. Once the pill did its job, Naruto tapped the pressure points as she regained movements in her arm. He then hit another pressure point 
just above her breast, allowing her to move her body. I can move again, said Mai, as she moved her arms around, as she then stood up. But her body was still aching from pain. Don't move too much. You're not 100% yet. And you still need to rest for a while, said Naruto. At this, Mai just nodded. You're a strong Kunoichi Mai, and maybe we can be friends. Maybe we can have a friendly fight once the exam and everything is over with. As Naruto held out a hand for her to shake it. But instead of taking his hand, Mai grabbed his jacket as she pulled him forward and kissed him. Now, this wasn't an ordinary kiss on the cheek or anything like that. This was an open your mouth tongue kiss so our tongues can play together. Naruto didn't know what to do and by time he realized what was going on, his brain went on shutdown mode after the kiss. But guys, I'm going to be ending this out if right here. If you want to see the next part of this, you already know what to do, like, subscribe, comment down below and turn on that bell notification to stay posted. Remember to share to all of your friends in the social media platform and stay in tune for what if Kurama gave Naruto a dojutsu and what if Naruto was trained to be a mercenary. But for now, I'm out. Peace.